What's up, you guys? So today I wanted to do a deep dive into the alleged dating and mating history of Juan Dixon, considering the allegations that have come out against him in the past few days. And especially since Robin Dixon has confessed to knowing all about his dirty deeds and has defended him on her podcast. So we're going to get into some of the women Juan has allegedly either dated or made it with, including some you may not know about. We'll start with Robin Dixon, since Juan and Robin allegedly met and dated in high school and got married soon after they both graduated from college. Juan's mother, Juanita, and Juan's assumed father, Phil, were heroin addicts, according to Juan's bio, and they died of AIDS-related illnesses before Juan was even 17 years old. He was then raised by his grandparents in Baltimore, and Robin has said that her parents took him in as well. Later, Juan discovered that Phil Dixon was not his biological father and that his biological father, Bruce Flanagan, was still alive. Both Juan and Robin attended the University of Maryland together, where Juan was a star basketball player and led the University of Maryland Terps to their first NCAA championship in 2002, and he earned the most outstanding player honors at the 2002 Final Four. Robin majored in business marketing while at the university and later worked in public relations. Juan was drafted to the Washington Wizards in the 2002 NBA draft. And Juan and Robin got married in 2005 after nine years of dating. However, there are reports that Juan either dated or made it with Gabrielle Union in 2005 and 2006, despite Juan marrying Robin that same year. And despite Gabrielle Union being married to Chris Howard at the time. Despite the cheating allegations following their marriage, Robin and Juan decided to start a family. They had their first son, Corey, in 2008 and their son, Carter, in 2010. And Robin has said herself on The Real Housewives that the time period when they had the kids was a really rough patch for them because she felt Juan was not hands-on with their kids and the responsibility of child rearing was left all on her while Juan was allegedly out being unfaithful. By the time Robin and Juan started having kids, Juan's NBA career was coming to an end and he would eventually go on to play basketball in Europe and take his new girlfriend along with him to Europe despite having such young kids with Robin. The University of Maryland student newspaper called the Diamondback has a very detailed account of Juan Dixon's time in Europe with the woman he calls the love of his life. The interview appears to have been a joint interview with both Juan and the love of his life. Now, this is the same woman that Ashley Darby was referring to when she brought up Juan's other woman on season one of The Real Housewives of Potomac. People accused Ashley of gossiping, but she was actually just repeating what she read in the newspaper because the newspaper article laid it all out. On November 15, 2012, the Diamondback reported, He's different now, said Chris Sanchez, Juan Dixon's longtime girlfriend and soul support system during his more than two-year trek through Europe. She said, you can see it in his eyes and the way he goes about his business. He really wants it. And then it goes on to say the first blow arrived in October 2009. The Atlanta Hawks cut him days before their season opener. And it's as much as changed for Juan Dixon since he cemented his place in Turks history as the first and so far only player to lead his hoops teammates to the program's lone national title. He has two young sons, Corey and Carter. He is divorced and now shares his days with the woman he calls the love of his life. He is no longer the immature 23-year-old who often took his fame and talents for granted. It goes on to say, desperate for someone to help him navigate foreign waters, Dixon had asked friends and relatives to make the move with him. This is when he went to Europe, but they had families and jobs they couldn't leave behind. So Dixon asked Sanchez, whom he had only met a few months earlier, 
and who had an adolescent son of her own. After careful consideration, Sanchez left her job running two restaurants and traveled to Thessaloniki with Dixon. Now, it doesn't say if she took her son with her, but it doesn't sound like it. It goes on to say, you would think, and this is a quote from Chris Sanchez. She says, you would think that because he's Juan Dixon, he has a lot of support and people, which he does. But on the same token, he's a loner. I wasn't going to leave him by himself. So he ended up leaving Greece and going to Turkey. Basketball and Sanchez's support kept Juan Dixon sane during those first weeks. When he stepped on the court, he felt calm. When he returned home, Sanchez often had a bag of cheeseburgers and an American movie queued up in the DVD player, something to make him feel at home. So she is the homemaker. She's making him feel at home. She's doing her job, playing her part for him. So that's the girl when Ashley refers to the love of his life in those episodes, that's the girl she's referring to. And despite Juan gallivanting through Europe with another woman while Robin was in Maryland struggling with their very young kids, Robin still defended Juan in an interview she did with the Baltimore Sun that same year, 2012. She told the Baltimore Sun about Juan, when you're a normal 22 year old getting your first job, you start at an entry level position and work your way up. But when you're a 22 year old professional athlete, you're thrust into the spotlight and you don't get an opportunity to grow as a person. I think what he's gone through has been pretty humbling. And I think if he gets another opportunity, he'll do things differently, meaning another opportunity at the NBA. Both Robin and Chris, the love of Juan's life, seem to think that Juan would do things differently if he had another chance. And apparently Robin thinks Juan will also do things differently now that he has another chance at their marriage. But once again, just days after the announcement of their wedding, a woman has come forward stating that Juan was cheating on Robin with her. In addition to the allegations that Karen made about Juan dating a blonde woman in Georgetown. On her reasonably shady podcast, Robin and Giselle both admit to knowing about the woman that claimed Juan set her up to have an unwanted encounter with one of his friends after she flew in to see him. And Robin says that Juan told her that he only paid for the woman's hotel room because she lost her wallet. That was a story and somebody had to pay. And Robin does admit that what Juan told her sounds crazy. She does admit that it's a crazy story. But it sounds like she's made up in her mind to go along with the story Juan told her, being that she's remarried Juan in a quiet ceremony that not even her parents were allowed to attend. And she did admit that that situation is what caused their engagement to be prolonged. So you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think about all the women Juan has allegedly dated or made it with while being connected to Robin. Do you believe the story he told Robin about the woman losing her wallet and he just had to pay for the room on the second night of the hotel stay? Do you think Robin really believes that story or she's just acting like she believes it to move on with her life? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Layla, 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 tell us it all.